Hello and welcome to this Click Tips and Trick video. My name is Shilpan Patel from analyticshub.io where one and only one mission we have is to take your click skills to the next level. In this video tutorial, we're going to go over do loop. So in the last video tutorial, we, we learned for next loop. As you see here, for next loops being used to create QVD for each of the tables in this data model. So let's quickly look at the data model. So we have six tables and we have QVD for each of those tables. Now, if we want to drop these tables, typically when you bring a table from a source, create a QVD, at the end, you want to drop that table since you do not need that table at that point. That's a good use case for while loop. So the syntax for the while loop is do while and then there's a condition. So we're going to leave condition here. Let's just call it condition for now and loop because it will iterate the loop until that condition cannot be fulfilled. So in our case, since we want to drop all of these tables, let's start with the variable to capture number of tables. So let's start with let and table count, TC stands for table count equal number of tables. And minus one. Again, if you don't know why minus one, I recommend you watch the previous video in which I explained. But just to reiterate, table number starts at zero in click sense, in click view. So you need to subtract minus one to include the first table. So that's our variable. Now we're, our condition is going to be do while tc is greater than or equal to zero because again table number starts at zero tc greater than equal zero now that we have condition in place let's have another variable to capture table name so that will be let table name equal function table name and TC. So that will have the table number. So once we get the table name, we can simply drop that table. So it's drop table and table name may contain spaces. So as an insurance, we're going to add pair of square brackets and of course dollar sign expansion anytime you want to use that variable. So that will be dollar function with TN as parameter. And that's all. Now we need to recalculate number of tables. Since every time drop table statement gets executed, we'll have one less table. So let's have another variable that. So as a matter of fact, we can recycle same variable. And that's all there is to use do while loop. Again, it's very powerful and useful when you want to trade to number of tables and perform certain action. In this case, we're dropping a table. So let's go ahead and reload. And if it worked properly, we should not have any tables in our data model. And that's evident from the fact that I do not see data model viewer option in the global navigation menu. So that's all there is. I hope this was helpful. And again, if you like this video, please join our academy at analyticshub.io and it is free. You can join as a free member and even as a free member, you'll have access to a ton of content that we share with all of our students. So with that, thank you for watching 
And until next video, have a great day.